Hello, my name is Kathleen Stanton and I am co-author on the article Occurrence and Risk Screening of Alcohol Foxlet Surfactants in Three U.S. River Sediments Associated with Wastewater Treatment Plants. This article was published in the journal Science of the Total Environment and is available through open access. Funding for this research was provided by the American Cleaning Institute. The American Cleaning Institute and its member companies have a long history of developing scientific research to support the safe use of ingredients in cleaning products. Because of the down-the-drain nature of most cleaning products, much of the environmental research occurs in the aquatic environment. This paper is a companion article to Occurrence and Weight of Evidence Assessment of Alkyl Sulfates, Alkyl Ethoxyl Sulfates, and Linear Alkyl Benzene Sulfonates in River Water and Sediments, also published in Science of the Total Environment in 2006. This present paper explores the occurrence of one more surfactant class, alcohol ethoxylates. Alcohol ethoxylates, or AE, are high production volume chemicals used widely in detergent and personal care products. Use in the U.S. alone was 381,000 metric tons in 2008. As indicated earlier, the major disposal route of alcohol ethoxylates is down the drain through sewage systems and into municipal wastewater treatment plants. Even with high removal rates, residual amounts enter receiving surface waters. Due to their surfactant properties, they preferentially sorb to s the sediments. This research was undertaken to conduct a weight of evidence risk assessment in three streams, documenting the exposure and predicted risk, and comparing these to the habitat and local plant life. Alcohol ethoxylates conform to the general structure seen on this slide. The detergent ingredient's chemical backbone, aliphatic alcohols, also known as fatty alcohols, or FA, represent a special interest in the context of environmental risk, as these alcohols are also abundant and ubiquitous, naturally occurring compounds, such as fats from animal and human waste, plant matter, and runoff. Therefore, in a risk assessment, one needs to distinguish between the natural fatty alcohol concentrations and the added contribution from human activity. Our sampling site selection focused on moderately sized, relatively efficient plants within the United States with primarily residential inputs. This resulted in the sampling of three wastewater treatment plants on their associated streams in the Midwest. Periods of low dilution in receiving streams were chosen to target conditions that are most favorable for finding the presence of surfactants in sediment. A habitat assessment was conducted and physical chemical field data were collected at each sampling site. Surface water sediments, sediment poor water, and benthic organism collection was conducted concurrently. Aliphatic alcohols and alcohol thoxalates were measured in surface water, pore water, and sediments. Samples were collected at four points along the streams, upstream of the wastewater treatment plant at its outfall, downstream, and far downstream. Using the iStream model, we predicted the concentration of AE and FA in the influent, effluent, and outfall. The predicted environmental concentration of AE were found to be conservative for influent, effluent, and outfall compared to measure concentrations. Measured values for fatty alcohols did not correlate to the predicted values. This is to be expected because of the natural de novo synthesis and rapid degradation of fatty alcohols. As you can see from this figure, the peck peanut ratios upstream, downstream, far downstream, and at the outfall are well below 1, indicated low predicted risk to the environment. The percent EPT taxa, tolerant taxa, and clinger taxa are also shown on the right of this figure. When comparing the observed biota at the different locations with the predicted risks and habitat quality in a weight of evidence approach, there is no clear correlation between the predicted risk, the occurrence of biota, and the habitat quality. Our paper highlights the low predicted risk of the alcohol thoxalate surfactants and fatty alcohols associated with detergent use. It is moreover highlights the need to carefully consider the procedures for environmental risk assessment of naturally occurring compounds such as fatty alcohols, which are moreover both readily degraded and de novo synthesized and sourced in the environment.